Hi everyone, I'm just going to give you a quick tour so you can understand how the platform works. So to start with, this is the dashboard. It is a customizable page that you can create different boards for different groups of people. All of the charts and graphs that you see on these pages can be custom built and are all live based on the data in the application. You can also add links and shortcuts to different features that you use in the application to make them as accessible as possible for your workforce. To navigate to the rest of the features on the application, pick the nine dot icon in the top left. It will then show you the various different hubs on the platform that you can use. Each hub is like a mini application. It provides tools that will help make compliance and other repeat tasks more efficient and less hassle. To start with, we'll have a look at the work hub. The work hub is where you will find all of the tasks and actions that you need to carry out in the application in one place. It has lots of different options to view your tasks. For example, you can see your own personal tasks, tasks that you have assigned to other people. You can create task templates, routines, specifically look at tasks you're watching and look at time logs for tasks that have been completed. There's other sections on the work hub as well, like projects and spaces, where you can organize specific things depending on how you want to set the application up. Now let's go to form hub the tool that we use to build digital forms. Our digital forms can be used for a wide range of tasks, from risk assessments, to inspections, to carrying out incident reports, creating equipment requests, generating supplier questionnaires, safety checks, and much, much more. Let's have a look in one of the forms. Each form has a customizable homepage where you can see forms that are in progress, meaning they are being worked on, anything pending approval, or forms that have been completed. We'll take a look into this entry so we can see how the forms look. The forms do have different layouts. For example, you could have page view or this block view where the users can fill out the different fields that are created. Anytime you see a little yellow label on the application, this is a field that can be customized, built and changed when you up issue the form. Now we've had a quick look at the form hub. Let's jump over to our flagship product, the Process Hub. The Process Hub has a similar feel to the Form Hub, but it can be used to build an entire digital process. We have customers that use this for a wide range of use cases, from activities such as non-conformance management, management review, contract review processes, permits to work, engineering change requests, IT service calls, batch records and even onboarding processes can all be handled in the process hub. I've just jumped into one of our processes. This is an example of a non-conformance process that has been built. Each of the boxes represents a process step and you can see you can build a process using this flowchart style approach. Each of the steps contains different information, fields, automations and actions that you want to be carried out as part of the step. By combining multiple process steps, decisions and automations, you can create an entire digital process that ensures your company follows the correct routes and captures all the important information. Processes also have customizable home pages where we can pick to see how many entries are on each individual step of a process for better management. We're just going to take a look at a completed process so you know how it looks. You can see all of the boxes have the information filled in. You can also export all of our process and forms into a PDF file. Here's a quick look at how the process looks after it's been exported to a PDF. Now we've had a look at the process hub, let's move on to the document library. The document library is essentially a business's way of managing its QMS documents. The document library splits documents up into areas which can be controlled with different levels of access and also able to manage reviewers and approvers per area. This is great for managing change control of your documentation. The document library has some really great features. For example, using the control docs tab, you can see all of the controlled documents on the application that you have access to. You can also see the status of all of these documents. To give you an example of how the change control works on the system, Let's step into one of the documents in review. You can see that every document that goes through change control has an editing stage, a review stage and approval stage. 
During the change control process, you will always be required to capture basic compliance information. For example, the reason for up issue and what you are changing. It will also capture any comments or supporting documents you upload as part of this process. The document library has many other great features, but you can look at one of our full doc library videos to find out more. Now we'll take a look into the register hub. This is another extremely useful tool that can be used for a wide range of use cases because it is so customizable. This hub is used for all sorts of compliance registers, logs and records. With these registers, you can also add automations based on criteria that is hit within the register. For example, you can add an automation to send an action to a manager whenever a risk score is too high. Now let's move on to Audit Hub. This is the single place that you can use to manage all of your audit schedules, non-conformances and requirements for your entire organisation. There are multiple features and views that help you to see when your audits are planned and the different schedules that they are on. Let's keep moving and now have a look at the Asset Hub. This is a great place to manage all of your tooling, vehicles, machines and equipment to understand their status, any due date actions that you may have and also to keep an eye on calibration and maintenance tasks. Finally, we'll swing over to the portal to show you how you can give people outside your organisation access to the application. It's the perfect place to create supplier portals or customer boards that they can log in and see certain information about the application that you want to share with them. For example, on this board, they can directly click the buttons to fill out the forms and also see live KPIs based on information you would like to share with them. There's so much more we could show you with the application, but we hope this quick video has given you a basic understanding of some of the things that we can do for you.